Hey, I'm Jake, and get ready to app all. <laughs> no! Miko Rama, an app that has been suggested to me a bunch on Twitter, is a really great isometric puzzle game. In it, you play a tiny little robot who must navigate different structures to try and get home. Tap on a location to send the robot in that direction. Spin the level around to find the exact spot and move platforms and blocks to help him get there. There are 50 levels, but one of the best parts of the game is the level builder. After making your own levels, you can then share them using a custom QR code so others can play. And screenshot other players' levels so you can experience them as well. It reminds me of the old days of creating custom maps for games. Plus, it allows for Mikorama to always have new and varied content. But if you want one large map instead of lots of little ones, explore Exiled Kingdom. It might not be the best looking game, but Exiled Kingdoms is a very time consuming RPG. Start by choosing a character, one of three classes, warrior, rogue, or cleric, but only two are available in the very generous free version, and adjust your stats and skills. Your character has the good fortune of inheriting a large fortune, but sadly, bad luck comes your way and you must go on quests and adventures to gain money, new weapons, armor, and talents in order to get back what is rightfully yours. There are forests and dungeons to explore, orcs, goblins, ghosts, and all manner of beasties to battle. Some quests have you escorting people to specific destinations, retrieving certain items, or going on scouting missions. You can also hire mercenaries to join your group as you go off into the unknown. The free version gives you 15 areas to explore, and 16 quests to complete, which gives you hours of playtime time before you have the option to pay once to unlock the rest of the game. If grinding wears you down, then just don't grind. You might think this is a toaster, but no, it's a bread hotterer. And your job is to make it so bread and his friends don't get grinded into pieces by horrible spinning blades of death or lasers. Really don't let these adorable characters get destroyed by anything. So tap on the screen to keep them afloat above certain doom and swipe left and right to dodge danger, all while collecting stars to gain points to unlock even more cute characters to use as you attempt to save them from a horrible demise. See, I'm doing pretty well here with my friend Salty Tato Limbs. Don't worry, my boy, you'll be safe in- Oh! Oh, God! Oh, Salty, what am I doing? Ah, oh. ah, oh, good, he's back. Okay, I promise I won't lose you again! No! No, I'm a monster! It's okay, Jake, just take a breath. You're starting to get frantic. Shooter! If there's one thing I love in life, it's endlessly blasting things into nothingness, which Frantic Shooter happens to be pretty darn good at. The key to the game is to never stop moving. The arena you are in will shift and adjust throughout, creating barriers and obstacles, or sometimes laser cannons. Gather coins to unlock different weapons, and use coins to have up to three objects equipped when you start a new game. There are also characters that you can get the more you play, and the purple ice cream sandwich looking things upgrade your weapons to deal ultimate damage. And there are also upgrades to help alongside your own gun. After clearing away a ton of enemies, boss battles appear and require you to move fast and also dodge green bullets in order to survive. Instead of using only weapons, how about using some fists with Dan the Man? A platforming brawler that finds you as, well, Dan the Man. Or Dan's girlfriend Josie, as well as other characters to unlock and choose from. And let me just say that I love this game. It has a wonderful retro visual feel to it, and the fighting and platforming are great. Not only can you punch, kick, and throw villains, but you also can get some sweet weapons like throwing knives, throwing stars, machine guns, and rocket launchers to fight off particularly deadly foes. The game finds you fighting an evil organization that has left the village in pretty bad shape. You have to make your way through 12 levels and become the hero you were meant to be. I believe in you. Besides punching bad guys, punch bases to get more coins or health. There are shops along the way in case you need to replenish your munitions or your hunger. And skills to upgrade, which will be necessary when it comes to giant robot boss battles. And speaking of battles, there's also battle arenas, where you fight incoming enemies and gain coins for your sweet moves. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Links to all the apps can be found in the description below, and be sure to subscribe for more app all night, more dongs, more loot, more game loot. I'm also wearing Michael's sweater. He doesn't know about that. How's it smell? Ooh, it smells like science. And as always, thanks for watching. I don't know, he has like a nightmare voice. Ah!